Hello everyone, how are you all? You are watching CyberSec live. Uh, this is the seventh video of ethical hacking course and uh, we are uh, covering the module second which is footprinting and reconnaissance. So let's see what are the objecti uh, objectives of module second. So the first one is footprinting information gathering or we can say reconnaissance concept. Second one footprinting through search engines and advanced Google hacking techniques. Footprinting through web services and social networking sites and we will also understanding website footprinting, email footprinting and competitive intelligence. Then we will see who is uh, you. Uh, I hope you all are aware about that who is DNS and network footprinting but we will we will discuss it uh, in uh, both theory and practical way. Footprinting through social engineering which is one of the very important concepts and the countermeasures then we will uh, discuss the some summary of this module and the most important part is that five lab practicals we will show the uh, life practical of uh, those labs and that will definitely help you to recon the information regarding of whether you are recording a, a website whether you are recording for an organization uh, whatever but uh, all the information gathering we will try to give you as a life practical. So the first one is foot footprinting. What is exactly the footprinting or, or you can say reconnaissance uh, information gathering. So uh, it is a process which is used to uh, gathering whole information as much as uh, information possible for you about uh, any target, right? Any target or computer system or network or any organization you can say. So it is of two types. You can do the reconning uh, by passive or maybe active method. So now what is passive? So try to understand the, this that if you are uh, searching uh, searching the information through the third parties, third parties like uh, from the Google search engine, from uh, job profiles, then it's a passive, right? And the active active is one one is the, which is directly you are trying to uh, get the information. Let's say. Uh, you are using uh, scanning right so in scanning your your ip will be visible to the uh, uh, the victim one reviewing a company's website is an example of passive footprinting whereas attempting to gain access to sensitive information through social engine is uh, passive one so footprinting is basically the first step where hackers gather as much information as possible to find uh, ways to intrude into a target system or at least decide what type of attacks will be more suitable for the target. So it's basically the whole information, whole gathering of whole information we do in this uh, footprinting. So this is the basically concept and during this phase a hacker can collect the following information. These information and many more information. This is just a limit one. But you can also get more and more information such that domain name, IP addresses, name spaces, employee information, maybe phone numbers, email, job information, even the uh, employee IDs. So you can record more and more things about that, about your target. Now what is the objective of footprinting? This need to be understand guys. So what is the objective? So first one is no security posture, right? In this footprinting allows attacker to know the security posture of the target organization. And the second one is reduce focus area. In this uh, it reduces the attacker's focus area to a specific uh, range of IP addresses, uh, network, domain, name, uh, remote access, etc. And third one we have identify vulnerabilities. Right, so that that's also uh, we we use footprinting. Uh, this is one of the main objective because it allows attacker to identify vulnerabilities in the target uh, system in order to select uh, appropriate exploits. So it is one of the uh, main thing and draw net network map. It allows attackers to draw a map or outline the target organization's network infrastructure. To know about the actual env environment that they are going to break so this is this is the four objectives of footprinting which uh, we have shown 
next one is footprinting through search engines and advanced google hacking techniques right so guys let's say uh, you want to you want to do a passive scanning right I'm sorry not a scanning it's a recon so you want to collect the information from the passive one so you for that you need to uh, collect the information from the search engines or maybe advanced google ha uh, hacking techniques so let's see what it is exactly so attacker use search engines to uh, extract uh, information about a target such as uh, technology platforms employee details login pages internet portals etc right these all are the things so we can search from the uh, search engines and the advanced google hacking uh, techniques and the next one uh, search engines catches and internet's archive may also provide sensitive information that has been removed from the world wide web so let's say archives uh, you you know the archives way back way back so all we will also do the practical on that so don't worry about that we will show the live demo that how we can recon uh, recon the things recon uh, recon the personal details and all the information regarding a uh, single target or our uh, victim so information gathering using groups forums and blogs we can also get the information from these things uh, maybe there is some some groups forums and blogs regarding that footprinting through job sites it is a uh, very important we can uh, collect the information from linkedin because there are many members who already have on uh, linkedin correct and maybe from glassdoot.com indeed nokri.com there are a lot of things we can use google earth tool to get the physical location of the target uh, this one is very important so uh, next one we have footprinting using advanced google hacking techniques right so guys these are the some techniques you can uh, search there query string vulnerable tar uh, targets google operators and you can also use these things uh, as i show you catch a catch a colon and then you can give the website name link then you can website give the website name uh, un uh, in url you can give the any url so what does it mean actually so if you are using the cache displays the web pages stored in the google cache correct so whatever the google cache will uh, stored by the google it will show you display you link list web web pages that have links to the specified web page it is very important guys uh, if you if you want to uh, your career in a bug bounty or uh, in any penetration testing then it is very important to know the google hacking techniques so related one list web pages that are similar to a specific web page info colon presents some information that google has about a particular web page means that there is something uh, information which is already present on google it will show you site it will show you the website in the given domain similarly similarly in title uh, it restricts the results to document containing the search keyword in the title uh, you in url restrict the results to document containing the search keyword in the url so these are the some basic things and you should uh, you should search uh, search uh, with the help of these things and more important thing is that guys uh, uh, I, I will really uh, happy to share these PDF, uh, PPTs through my telegram channel so if you haven't joined the telegram channel then please go in the open your app telegram and just search cybersec live and join it because we are going to share these PPTs there next uh, google hacking database so these these are the links uh, i will definitely provide in the description and also as uh, i will share the ppt on telegram so uh, you can you can take uh, from that google docs this is one of the very important link here information gathering using google uh, advanced search so these were the things you can uh, you can search from uh, google hacking techniques now footprinting through social networking sites we have lot of social networking sites so facebook linkedin uh, twitter uh, we have also uh, uh, one of the new one uh, instagram there is lot of things right so with the help of social networking site we can also uh, um, we can also collect the informations attackers create a fake profile on social networking sites and then use the false identifier to 
lure the employees to give up their sensitive information let's say fake IDs and data it is one of the important concept so employees may post personal information such as date of birth educational and employee backgrounds spouse names etc so once let's say let's say example of Facebook correct so once you will search any profile then you will definitely get to know that some personal information may be date of birth may be their educational qualifications employees uh, backgrounds spouse names these are the things you can get from the social networking sites okay so the next one is still information available on social networking sites so what are the information available on uh, social networking sites so these are the things you can uh, con you can check for contact info locations friend list friend info identify your family members interest activities uh, there is surveys user support recruitment all the things the all these things you can get to know from the social networking sites only okay so next one is website footprinting so web website footprinting refers to monitoring and analyzing the target organization's website for information browsing the target website may provide you software used right if you if you are going to check for the website footprinting then what you have to know you can check for the software which software they are using which of the version they are currently using operating system sub directories and parameters file name part database or query scripting platforms uh, even the contact details and cms details right content management system details so these are the things you can uh, gather you can use bob suit zap proxy Paris proxy website informer you can also firebug use firebug or you can also view the page source and you can also uh, see the view headers so uh, and the most important important thing that you should uh, check examine the cookies which may be provided HTML source code you can uh, check for that website footprinting using web, web spiders so web spiders perform automated searches on the target addresses websites and collect specified information such as employees names email address etc so attackers use use collected information to perform further footprinting and social engineering attacks so let's say they get to know that yeah this is your email address now what i will do through social engineering i will send you a phishing email so once you will click on that that's going to be a, a very difficult time for you so gsa email spider this is the link uh, web data extractor uh, one thing we can do more things that by mirroring entire website so by using std track so this one this one we are going to show right this one is one of the five lab of uh, footprinting you can use surf offline uh, and uh, extract website information from this archive wayback archive so this one is also we are going to use and i will show you that uh, even a post deleted from instagram uh, on on a particular date but with the help of way archive uh, archive.org i will show you that it is still there so nothing is deleted on internet okay now email footprinting so tracing email communications right so gets recipient system ip id ip address you can also know the geolocation of the recipient uh, when the emails was received and read so let's say you got the email right now you can check all the headers all the headers what is the ip what is the sender uh, uh, where from which country it is coming you can check everything you can collect all the information from there you can even check for the time spent on reading the mails you can also check the e email gateway what what's the email gateway they are using maybe it's a, a cisco a cisco's uh, email gateway or some something else so collecting information from email headers as i said email tracking tools these are the some email tracking tools email track pro.com politemail.com ip address location.org so through these things you can track the email next one is we have competitive intelligence so competitive uh, intelligence gathering is the process of identifying 
gathering, analyzing, verifying and using information about your competitors from resources such as the internet. So let's say you are a company and uh, uh, there is some competitor uh, of yours. Right. So through the competitive intelligence, you can uh, gather all the information about the second uh, company actually what they are actually uh, doing. And sources of comp uh, competitive intelligence is uh, company websites and employers, definitely search engines, internet and online DB, uh, press release and annual reports. So these are the things uh, through which you can uh, gather whole information for your a competitor tracking online reputation of the target monitoring website traffic of the target company you can use this when did this company begin this is very important right so how how did it develop you can use each and everything you can you can check from these sites which I'm giving when uh, did it begin so Edgar database from here you can get to know how did it develop where is it located and who leads it so you can get to know each and everything regarding that company so next one we have who is footprinting so basically who is database are maintained by regional internet registries and contain the personal information of domain owners so let's say domain owners uh, what what is the domain who took it what was the date uh, they have taken that what is the ip everything you will get to know through the who is uh, footprinting so let's say as I as I uh, showing you domain name details contact details of the domain owner domain name server information obtained from who is database assist uh, and attacker to right so gather information that assist to perform social engineering uh, you can also check from regional internet registries who is lookup result you can analyze those results now next one is uh, DNS footprinting so DNS we have already discussed in the last video uh, I have already given all the playlist of ethical hacking here and you can just learn the basics that what exactly the DNS and how it works so accepting DNS information domain name system attacker can gather DNS information to determine my key host in the network and can perform social engineering attacks so DNS records provide important information about location and type of server. So these are the interrogation tools, DNS stuff.com, network tools.com. There are, there are many more. You can search on Google, right? And in that DNS, if you find these, these keywords, you will definitely find. So what does it mean? So if you find something A, so it means uh, points to a host IP address, MX means points, uh, to domains mail server ns means name server c name canonical naming allows analysis to a host rp responsible person txt unstructured text record so these are the some things uh, you can get to know these things so whenever you you got these things ns e name sda srv you should remember that what exactly it's working next one is we have network footprinting Okay, so the locate the network range. Network range information assist attackers to create a map of the target network. Find the range of IP addresses using ARIN, who is database search tool, as I show you previously. So you can find the range of IP addresses and subnet mask used by the target organization from regional internet registries, that is RIR. Trace route. This is this one is very important concept. So it trace route through trace route we get to know that how many hopes are uh, there from one system to uh, another device one device to another, another device so it's a program works on the concept of ICMP protocol and use a TTL time to live right field in the header of ICMP package to discover the routers on the path to a target host for example you can you can see the trace route analysis attackers conduct trace route to exit uh, information about network topologies, trusted routers and firewall locations. For example, after running several trace routes, an attacker might obtain the following information uh, such that trace route from this IP second to the last hope. So this is the range of this is the range of that particular IP you can say. And uh, these these are the ranges they can get to know from the help of trace route. And they are uh, uh, with the help of these things they can also uh, make a network diagram 
okay so we have the next one footprinting through social engineering okay so social engineering is an art of exploiting human behavior to extract confidential information it's nothing but a simple thing simple thing means uh, let's say what i will do as a social engineering i will just clone the facebook uh, website and uh, i know you okay i know you as a person and i you know i know your email id then i will just send the that uh, uh, phishing mail to you and once you will click on that it will show you a facebook page now it will ask for you a credentials of uh, facebook you will think something yeah, yeah there is something related to facebook and once you will uh, enter your credentials that website will automatically reload the same page but your credentials will be uh, will be uh, stored in my server so this is one of the way of social engineering uh, social engineers depend on the fact that people are unaware of their valuable information and are careless about protecting it, right? So these, uh, that's why we we should uh, change our password every 30 days. Okay, now footprinting tools. What are the tools uh, we have? Multigo, Recon NG. These these things I'm going to show you in the lab. Uh, OSRR framework uh, that also I will show. NS Lookup I will show. The Harvester, DNS Digger. And many more so these are the some tools there are many more tools but these are the some of them so now what what you will think how you can uh, secure your organization you get to know key yeah that's uh, how you can recon each and everything but there is, should be some countermeasures so that everybody cannot uh, take our information right so you will have to restrict the employees to access social networking sites from organization network so that your organization uh, email id or something uh, uh, can be leaked configure web servers to avoid information leakage uh, educate employees to use pseudonyms on blogs groups or uh, forums there are many people who uh, who uh, who upload lot of data on their github right and publicly publicly uh, they uh, they are available so it can't be happen happened it shouldn't be happened so you should stop them to upload any their particular data related to your organization on github do not reveal critical information in press release annual reports product catalog so if there is some personal or critical information you should not uh, speak in front of press or annual reports use footprinting techniques to discover and remove any sensitive information publicly available as i said like example of github and encrypt and password protect sensitive information that's one of the main thing so the what is the module summary so this is one of the footprinting is the process of what we have learned that footprinting is the process of uh, collecting the informations for a particular uh, system or you can say network system or you can say a target or organization whatever so it will it will give you the whole information like ip addresses network domain name right and it will help you for the uh, second part that is scanning so attackers use search engines to uh, accept information about a target attackers use social engineering trick to gather some sensitive information from uh, social networking websites such as facebook myspace as i said uh, you can get many information from facebook uh, of your uh, target information obtained from targets websites enables an attacker to build a detailed map right so once they will get to know that yeah these things that you are using they will they can draw a map diagram and they can map each and everything that how how's your architecture and competitive intelligence is a process of identify we have learned this right so this one of the summary we have learned gathering analyzing verifying and using the information about your competitors and we have learned the process that how you can do this dns records attackers conduct trace route trace route as i show you that uh, it is a very important one uh, for a uh, hackers because with the help of trace route they can get to know that how many hopes what are the uh, what are the actual networks uh, are working between two devices and also they can get to know the ip range now as as we say that five left practical so which of the five left practicals we are going to show you open source information using terminal at command line so through this we will uh, show you that how we can gather the information 
information gathering of a website using firebug or you can say by uh, viewing the source code mirroring website using http track footprinting a target using maltego maltego is very is one of the strongest tool for footprinting information gathering using the harvester so these are the five labs and practicals we are going to show you in the next five videos so stay tuned with us and guys if you like the video then please subscribe the channel and support us thanks a lot bye bye take care